on carbohydrate loading is an established nutritional strategy in which athletes um, increase their carbohydrate intake um, in the final days prior to competition. Which athletes would benefit most from it and why? Basically athletes and events lasting longer than 90 minutes should be practicing carbohydrate loading. And although there's a very strong emphasis on obviously increasing the carbohydrate intake up to about seven or eight grams per kilogram of body mass, one thing that athletes frequently forget is that is it a nutritional and exercise strategy. So there should be a reduction in the training intensity and volume as well. So if your event lasts no longer than 90 minutes, carbohydrate loading is for you, but don't forget that you need a reduction in your training volume. Carbohydrate loading strategies uh, progressed recent years. Um, so what's the, actually the recommended optimal strategy at the moment? Yes, there's been some recent advances in the field. We no longer think that you need this massive depletion phase where an athlete would typically go out a week before a major competition and really do an extremely long run or cycle. This is probably setting them up for illnesses or at least possibility of injuries. We don't do that anymore. We now say to the athlete in the seven days before a competition, maintain your normal training and then in the 72 hours prior to your event, increase the carbohydrate intake again to seven or eight grams per kilogram of body mass and reduce the training. So this depletion phase as we used to call it is no longer required. And athletes are using caffeine to boost their performance. Um, in simple terms, how can caffeine help to increase endurance performance? We used to think caffeine's effect was mainly metabolic, namely that it was acting on the working muscles. We now think that that theory is possibly incorrect and that caffeine's main ergogenic effect, its effect in increasing exercise capacity or performance, is related to the central nervous system. In effect, what caffeine does or the intake of caffeine is reduce the athlete's perception of effort. So the athlete can go longer or further for the same effort, thereby increasing their performance. And what kind of strategy would you recommend athletes during a cycling competition or a long run? Caffeine uh, intake has been massively reduced over the past six or seven years where the studies have shown quite conclusively that the large amounts of caffeine in the earlier investigations are no longer necessary. So we now recommend that athletes should be taking in a small amount, perhaps one or two milligrams per kilogram of body mass in the hour prior to exercise. And then particularly if your event is a long lasting endurance event, topping this up perhaps at regularly hour intervals. So now the emphasis is on lower doses of caffeine because we now believe it has a central system effect rather than a muscle effect. And if you combine caffeine with carbohydrates like in a power chill or in an energized bar, does it give you a magic cocktail effect? Well, that's interesting. There's been a few investigations which have looked at the effects of adding caffeine to, let's say, a carbohydrate mouth rinse, uh, taking in carbohydrate in gel form or bar form during exercise. The overwhelming conclusion for all these is there's no real clear additive effect, but again, probably the best strategy is caffeine with carbohydrate during endurance events.